Hello, my YouTube fam out there. As you can see, we got two Morgan Silver Dollars right here. We got one from 1890 and one from 1921. Okay, this side by side comparison, we're gonna have a little fun with this. Okay, one of these is actual real silver. I guess you can probably guess which one that one would be compared to one that is a replica. Well, <clears throat> we're going to do today, let's take out a real one. We are going to wash this replica with hot water and done dish soap and see what happens to the side that happens to one side I wash. I will not be washing that one because that 1921 right there is an actual real Morgan Silver Dollar. That's why it's in its protective case. But you see over time how it has a whitening to it. The whitening right here on the edges and stuff like that compared to this one where it's just been antiqued basically so what I'm gonna do like I said this beautiful one right here I'm gonna wash half of it we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison using the microscope and plus we're also gonna put this one under the microscope and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these so stick with me as I wash half this silver this Morgan Replica. Well, I actually decided to step it up and clean the whole face of her off. Trying to get most of the antiquing off, but as you can see, it's like in the letters, it's still there. I suggest if you, if you actually get a replica and you want to make it look clean like this, because this is a replica, like I said, that is real. <laughs> but, um, you want to get the antiquing off so it doesn't look so crappy. And it gets inside the letters like that, use a toothpick because if you use any type of metal, you actually scratch it inside there. And if you like looking at it under a microscope, you'll actually see the scratches. That's why I say I suggest use a toothpick. But as you can see, she was pretty dirty on the front. The back hasn't been touched yet, but that's all right. So now let's go do a comparison of these two bad boys under a microscope or should I say these two bad girls under a microscope since they're both ladies and see what we can see let me a second I got some stuff out of the way so you don't see my next project <laughs> like I said real replica So let's go to the big screen. Here's our replica. I mean, you can still see, you can see the antiquing agent inside there, inside the letters. You can scrape it off like, with a toothpick, like I said. Um, there it goes better. I mean, besides the little antique age in there, she actually looks pretty good. Now let's look at the real one. I mean, as you can see, she sort of scratches on her face, just like that. It's fine. But you see how it's whitening, and whitening there, and not antiquing. <laughs> Because silver is a, uh, silver and gold are basically, from what I understand, are metals that do not corrode. The antiquing agent is trying to uh, show off corrosion on a metal, and that doesn't really work. But E. Plumis Unum, 1921. She's the real one. I have to go through, give her a fine tooth comb to see if there's any errors on her I haven't noticed yet or not. Because I thought she was pretty sweet, I liked her. 
and then the back, same whitening of the silver. You see that? There's no antiquing on the metal because it's silver. Silver doesn't antique. Not, not like that to rub good. And this is S. Ooh, I didn't realize that. That's a nice one, too. But isn't that nice? I'm going to give this one a fine tooth comb. Yeah, I see a decent little niche right there above his head. But I'm going to give this one a fine tooth comb and see if I can see any doubling, any errors on this. And if I do, I'll have another video and I'll be sharing this coin and explain the errors I found on this one. So until next time, my YouTube fam, just remember, you have two coins. Always check them. Here's a good way to check them. This is what I've done before, if I can show you where I put that thing. Uh, well, my magnet has decided to show up. Okay. Some people make replica coins that are out of a magnetic material. I mean, silver, you can tell, silver is not magnetic. This coin is not magnetic either. So, a good, a good coin that's a replica will be non-magnetic. And if you, if you flip the faces over, I mean, look at how much more shiny this one is compared to this one. This is real silver. This is fake. So always watch out with your pockets. And until next time, my YouTube fam, stay safe out there and always count your change.